Welcome to our today's video. This is Jesus TV. My name is Prince Aleke, the man behind the motivation. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please can you do me a favor? Click the notification button, subscribe to this channel. Help us to grow. I beg you in the name of Jesus. Thank you as you subscribe in Jesus' name. Happy Sunday, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we are going to reflect on the life and the death of our dear brother. The chief executive officer, the CEO, Access Bank Holdings. Access Bank all over the world. The man whom God have used to touch many lives. The man who came, he saw, he conquered. The man who have brought a lot of changes. He had touched lives, he brought a lot of changes in his village and Nigeria in general. He had brings the wealth of experience in the banking sector. He had contributed his quotas. Today, the Almighty God have called him. I feel bad, but we cannot question God. My question today is, where was God? When that helicopter, when the chopper in California developed thoughts and consumed the brain behind the Nigerian economy, the CEO of Access Bank, Mr. Herbert Wigwe, may your gentle soul rest in the bosom of the Lord until we meet in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. I ask God, where are you? Where is Mr. Anselm Wigwe? Where is our CEO? Where is the man that promised to build an university, Herbert Wigwe University, in his hometown in the year 2024? God, where are you when all these things are happening? Or should we have another God? Why are the innocent people dying like fowl? God, why all this, all this problem all over the world? Why is there confusion everywhere? Why is there death of good men every day? Why me? Why you? Why all of us? These are questions that are ringing like a bell in our hearts every day and night. Why should death take away Mr. Herbert Mwigwe at this time when the Nigerian economy is collapsing day by day, when dollar is consuming our naira? Bringing difficulties and hardship in the life of our people. Where is Herbert Wigwe? Death, I ask you, where is Herbert Wigwe and his family? Since I cannot do anything, because they say God gives, God takes. Let's take solace in God. May his gentle soul and the soul of his wife and the soul of his family, may they all rest in the bosom of the Lord until we meet on the last day. I pray for you who is watching me now, as then shall never be a portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you should never die of plane crash. Your generation shall never die of plane crash. Your relations shall never die of plane crash. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Death shall never see you. Death shall never see your family. In this year, 2024, you shall never cry. You shall never shed tears because of death. I pray 
today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let us reflect to the scripture. The scripture, the scripture makes us understand. The Bible made us to understand that life is a temporary assignment. Life we live is a temporary assignment. No one can live on earth forever. No one can live here till thy kingdom come. One day we come, one day we will go. We don't know when we will go. The way we don't know when we will come. We don't know the way we are going to leave this world. Two days ago, it was Mr. Herbert Nguigwe, who was the MD CEO Access Holdings, and his son, his family, and three others. Today, it may be anybody. Tomorrow, it may be another person. I encourage you, reflect over your life. Ask your life, am I living for God? Am I doing the right thing? Am I going to remain here forever? The answer is no. We are here for a temporary period. And one day we are going to leave. The day we are going to leave, we don't know. Whether we have car, whether we have private jets, whether we have billions of dollars in our account, we are going to leave those things and die one day. The only thing, the only major things we need to do now that we are alive is to live for God. For these days is a temporary world. For the present world we live is temporary. My brothers and sisters who are watching me now, please, the biggest accomplishment you can make with your life is to live for God. Live for God in your business. Live for God in your career. Live for God in your working place. Live for God in everything you do. Whether you are sick or you are healthy, live for God. Let's go to the book of Psalm 119. Verse, I read from verse 19. The Bible says, I am here on earth for just a little while. I am here on earth for just a little while. Take note. Here is not our home. We are not going to live forever. So now that you are here, do the right thing. The only right thing you do is the only thing that will keep your legacy on this planet Earth. If not, as you die, everything dies with you, including your name. Even your brothers will forget you. But the best thing you can do on Earth is to live for God. Love your neighbor, love your friends, love your family, and do good. Show appreciation, show gratification to whoever that does good for you and be kind to humanity because life on earth is just for a little while. Just the way our brothers left us today. Today, many have left. Tomorrow, many will leave. Ask yourself, what it is if it is you tomorrow? What will be your story? What will you say before God? Remember the Bible say, once death follows judgment. Please subscribe to my channel. My name is Prophet Prince Alekin, the man behind the motivation. And may you pray and commit the family of Mr. Herbert Mwigwe to eternal glory. May the Lord bless those he left behind. And I pray for the Access Bank in general. May they bear it. May the God give everybody, every customer, including me, may the God give us the heart to bear the irreparable loss of our able CEO. Thank you very much for watching. And I pray for you who are watching, who are watching me right now. You will never experience death this year. Your family will never experience death this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us take another book of Psalm. Psalm 39 verse 4. Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, that I may live the right life. Because my life is fading away. Lord, I pray for you. Always remind us the days of our life on this earth. And help us never to die young. Help us to live and fulfill our 
destiny in this earth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you for watching. See you in my next video. God bless you.